Okay. Welcome, my loves. As we are here, just say hello if you're here live. Say hello if you're on the replay. And I'm just going to close the window here so we don't get double sound. I am so excited for part two today. And I have one of my soul sisters. She's a mastermind soul sister. We actually met four years ago with our mutual business coach in Calgary. And uh, we really connected when I moved to Kelowna. Val was like, hey, I live here too. I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> So she's one of my favorite hiking buddies and Valerie McTavish happens to also be a video confidence coach. But you, my love, she is so much more than that. I'm actually going to get Val to share a little bit more about her background here in a bit. Now, we really wanted to come on because we want to support those of you who are feeling fearful, feeling paralyzed about going on camera, whether it's pre-recorded or a Facebook Live like this, or an IG Live, or even Reels. And we're going to talk about, because all we both see this a lot, that you know that video is the quickest way besides meeting in person to build that like, know, and trust factor. And it is absolutely critical to, um, be part of doing video to be uh, client attracting. And it's very much part of sales. If you're in business, it is all about needing to show up as you authentically. And so we're going to talk a little bit about the mindset, the beliefs that stop a lot of entrepreneurs from showing up. And Val's going to share her wisdom in how to start shifting out of that and really really like come alive on camera and not let your fear paralyze you not be held back you know those of you who are struggling with tech issues val can talk a little bit more about that and how she you this cannot this does not have to be an overwhelming process okay and please as you're here type in your questions even on the replay um because we'd love to support you in um, receiving some solutions here. So my love, my friend, please do share a little bit more about your amazing brilliance and your background. You guys, she's a little bit of a big deal, okay? Like I'm gonna <laughs> let her share her epic experience. Thank you, Roslyn. Hello, You're everyone. Welcome. So, so happy to be here with you today. Um, so a little bit about my background. Um, the technical stuff is that um, I have been in love with the television medium ever since I was, I was a little kid when television was basically my babysitter. Uh, I spent a lot of time watching television and absolutely fell in love with consuming it. Um, I went to university to study communication and thought that that was going to lead me into television only to discover that that's a whole other field <laughs> and um, decided to make my own way, volunteered to learn everything television at my local cable station. And that is the, the beginning of it all. Um, I have always loved helping tell stories. And I really believe that video and television is one of the best ways to do that. Mm -hmm. So I've been involved in all different aspects of video creation and television from the beginning of my career, everything from corporate videos to advertising, I even produce beer commercials, if you can believe it, um, to documentaries and short films. And in the last little while, um, right before I transitioned out of television where I was producing the morning news um, every day, getting up at you know four o'clock in the morning, to deliver bad news to everyone. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't good for my soul. So I got out of that and moved back to my passion for helping people tell their story and helping businesses tell their story. Um, and I did that in 2010, started that business, really diving into what digital marketing was all about. And then um, uh, cut to this mastermind with Rosalind where I was hosting, you know, working on putting together a mastermind to help people with their digital marketing. And Rosalind and the other folks there really, you know what? They held the mirror up for me and they made me realize that I was not stepping into my potential, mm -hmm. which was to utilize this background that I had, this passion that I had for video. And I wasn't stepping into it for one reason, fear. 
I was so afraid to get on camera. I knew that if I focused on helping people get on camera, I would have to do the same. And it kept me playing small. It kept me behind the scenes, which is where I had spent most of my career. So lots of tears, lots of truth um, got me to a place where I realized I had to step up. I had this ability to help people get comfortable on camera. I'd been doing it from behind the scenes for so long. And it was powerful work that I was doing, but I knew that I wasn't going to be able to increase my impact until I got on camera. So I went through a whole process of changing my mindset, getting over all my fears, getting over all of the negative self-talk, that negative loop that goes on in our head and got past it so that I could show up here to be able to share this message with you today, as well as um, all of the people that I've been able to help since then. So Uh that's my story. I love it. And you know, Val, like you all need to follow Val. I've tagged her. Please go follow her, especially on her professional business page uh, on Facebook, because she gives so many incredible tips. And we're actually going to go dive in deeper on some of the top challenges that she sees entrepreneurs have when it comes to video and I know that many of you we've had conversations because I'm like you are you're not playing but you're not you're playing small like you need to put out yourself out there let's go do a Facebook live and I know that um Val I, I don't know if you know that is about me but I pop a lot of Facebook live cherries <laughs> it's so fun um, and now it's turning into reels and it's really fun and it literally excites me so much when I see epic women entrepreneurs male entrepreneurs just like who are here to shine their light in the world and they finally break through it's incredible because all the amazing magic that happens after it it like it opens up so much more doors because your visibility is at that next level now having said that i feel like there are people who are showing up on camera i've had clients who have um, you know, did all the strategies and showed up on camera and yet nothing happened. It just fell flat and they were consistent. So I, I don't know if you've had clients like that, but for me, I, I said to these clients, you're, you're not there. I don't see you. Like, where's your personality? Where's your energy? Like, this isn't you. This is you reading off a script or this is you just sharing someone else's work. And I mean, that's okay, but I didn't like your people want to see you come alive in all your quirkiness and all your flaws and just how relatable you are. They need to feel your energy. So that I feel like that's a big one. It's a huge one. And and what you're talking about is when people get past the sort of tech overwhelm and mechanics Mm -hmm. that are are a barrier for them, right? (laughs) Get over that part. And thank you for helping so many people see how easy it can be. But once they get past that, you know, there's another level to it. And this level is so much scarier because this is where the vulnerability lives, Mm -hmm. right? We can all learn the tech side. We can. Every single one of us can figure out how to use our phone to get to go live or record a video. So that's easy. Once you get past that and you realize that's not a real barrier and that excuse gets pushed away, you can no longer lean on it. Then you have to deal with the fact that being on camera and showing up are two different things, Mm -hmm. right? They're two Mm -hmm. different things. Mm -hmm. Being willing to be vulnerable and show up authentically as yourself is one of the hardest things that you're going to be able to do. But here's the thing. And the number one thing I want people to take away if they're feeling this, if they feel like, you know what, I'm showing up, but I'm showing up like a robot. I'm showing up like an actor. I'm showing up like someone who is just reciting what's necessary, doing what's necessary, right? Showing up like a task, uh, you know, a tasker. This is the big difference. The big difference is when you show up, and you get outside of your comfort zone and you really allow your authentic self to come through, you can let go of the need for everything to be perfect. This is one of the things that gets in the way. This is one of the things that has us write out our script, reread our script, use a teleprompter, right? It's our need to be perfect. Mm -hmm. So when you let go of that and you realize nobody needs me to be perfect, 
Nobody else needs me to be perfect. I need to let go of that. Then you can show up as yourself. You can show up authentically and it will resonate with people. Because people feel you. And this is beautiful because in part one yesterday, those of you who are like, what's part one? Just scroll down the feed. Um, uh, It was all about getting out of hiding. And one of the belief shifts I shared was if you struggle with perfectionism, yes, I'm a recovered perfectionist, okay, Um, and start to come from the mindset of progress over perfection and really showing up because you, you, so many people get paralyzed by perfectionism and it's like, oh my gosh, and we just get into our own heads. And when we show up, authentically is who we are and again in all our flaws that's what makes us relatable that's what starts to build that like no one trust factor and the relatability is important we can't we can't align with perfection what is that anyway you know what this is such an important point and this is something that i i have a similar saying which is published over perfect mm. right like get it published yeah. don't worry if it's perfect yeah. but This is such an important point when you talk about um, the disconnect between what we want in terms of putting ourselves out there and what we actually want to attract. Mm -hmm. Because when you think about real life and you think about real life relationships, think about how those relationships develop. Yeah. You know, the first time you might, you meet someone, they might be on, right? They might be putting their best foot forward. Mm -hmm. But the more you get to know them, the more you get to see the real them, you Mm -hmm. realize they have these little imperfections. And these are the endearing qualities that you come to love. You know, these little things that make them more human, make them more real. Not only does it, you know, take down that barrier, it also helps you feel like this is someone I can relate to. This is someone I know. This is someone I can trust because I've seen some of the not so great parts right? Think about all of your best friends. Mm -hmm. I can almost guarantee I would put money on the fact that there's not a person here who would, you know, say other than in the most loving way, my friends are not perfect. My favorite people are not perfect specimens. And we can even think about celebrities, actors and actresses who have come out and said, I'm really struggling right now with depression with my body image right like then all of a sudden they become humanized we're like oh my gosh we can relate with them and we are cheering them on the same happens for you my loves it's so important to just really allow yourself to be human and show up in your authenticity and trust Mm. that that's what people want trust that it's enough Mm -hmm. trust that people will be more drawn to the real you than the candy coated version of you. So if this is helpful, this dialogue that Val and I are having right now, drop us some hearts. It's like a good reminder. You know, we often know it, but like, it's so incredible to be able to hear something over and over again, let it come in deeper and deeper. Yeah, we're getting lots of hearts. I'm looking down. I've got my phone and the chat's going amazing here. Beautiful, my loves. So Val, what else would do you see hold entrepreneurs back from showing up? So um, this is a little bit more along the lines of perfection. And sometimes it slips back mm-hmm. into perfection. So when you're willing to show up as yourself, and so that's the first step, right? To just kind of be like, you know, relax and, and yourself on camera. Um, the next thing is this fear around the messaging, right? Mm-hmm. This, what do I, what am I supposed to say? Okay. Now I'm, I got over the tech stuff. I'm ready to show up as myself. What the heck do I talk about? <laughs> right. And, and a lot of it is what if I sound like, I don't know what I'm talking about. What if I get rambly? What if I'm not making sense? Like a lot of this comes up with my clients and if that's you too, my loves, like 
drop us some more hearts <laughs> because you probably have like a lot of ideas and it's like how do I even know what to where to start because I feel like I'm gonna be fire hosing people or just like sound like a blurring mess or like just give too much information I don't want to give all my information away that's why I want people to work with me so help us unpack this Val yeah okay so first of all let me just address that I don't want to give everything away yes. Um, I'm kind of notorious for giving everything away, but here's, here's the reason I'm happy to do it. Yes. There will always be people who want to receive the information mm -hmm. and, and then choose to do what they want with it. Yes. And there will always be people who will receive the information and want help implementing it. Absolutely. There's there going to be always, always, always be people. Yeah. There will yes. always be people who see the value in, in working with me, who see the value in you know, having that direct contact with me. And I know that. Mm -hmm. So when I stay in abundance and I know that there's, there's always going to be people who need to work with me and want to work with me. Yes. I don't worry about the people who are just taking the information and doing their own thing with it. I think, and that's great if they are, you know, um, an analogy uh, I really like is if you, all of us here, I ask you, let's make a jam and peanut butter sandwich. We're all going to create something different. First of all, what kind of bread? What kind of peanut butter? What kind of jam? And what are the steps? Do you take the peanut butter off out first and then the jam or the jam and then peanut butter or maybe the bread first, right? Do you toast it? Do you not? And so as you can see, it's the same with creation in your business it's like you have your own personal signature method and your way of doing things your gifts your alchemy um and we it's really hard this is why i love being coached val like it's really hard to um see the forest from the trees or trees from the forest right like it's like I'm in my own stuff. I need that outside expert perspective. And this is where it's incredible to work with you so that you can pull out the important pieces of, okay, what you're saying here right now, that's like great for segment one, part one, mm -hmm. because blah, 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 right? Like it's, it's the reason why we want to work with an expert aligned with our, 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 where we want to go and what we want to be creating. Right. And the thing is, and this is something that I think is so true with you, Rosalind, and the women that you work with, the people that you work with, information is one thing, yeah, but implementation is an entirely other thing. Oh, and yeah. To have the energy and to have the, the um, experience of working with a coach yes. makes all the difference, right? Well, even you and I, as Mastermind Sisters, right, with our business coach, had you not had that reflection of yo val it's really obvious you're you're you need to be teaching people how to get on video <laughs> and that was incredible for you have that huge breakthrough and then do the inner work so that here you are today supporting other women entrepreneurs that get their mission out in the world their visibility like it's like whoa right like that community is so huge that support is so huge yeah absolutely so let's go back for a second to that first for the to the question about yes. what what to say right yes. now that we've let go of the attachment to our intellect right because we're so much more than just what we know um the, the next thing that I really, really, really want people to think about when it comes to video, and this is kind of a mindset shift, don't think about what you're saying. Think about what people need to hear, mm -hmm. right? I, I really encourage people to flip that paradigm and shift that paradigm, right? Yeah. This isn't me showing up to talk about what I know. Yes. This is me showing up to share what I think people need to get to the next step. Absolutely. And that's, that's really critical. And as soon as you do that, right. If you, as soon as you start thinking about what is the problem that people have, what's their experience with that problem? How does it make them feel? What's the myth? What's the misunderstanding about this problem? What are the things that they can be doing? What small steps can they be taking? What stops them from taking those steps? Mm -hmm. Right. You go through that, like literally bookmark this and go back and go through that with every piece of the problem that you solve, mm -hmm. you're going to have about 50 different video topics and all of them are coming from a place of service. 
Absolutely. Yeah, I love this. I mean, even we're even modeling this because we brainstormed a little bit about what are some of the struggles that we see our clients, our um, colleagues have when it comes to being on camera. And so we brainstormed a, a, a little bit about that. And then we said, okay, let's give these steps and let's, let's talk about this. So we're doing it real time right now, my loves. <laughs> <laughs> so meta. It's so meta. <laughs> So then, um, Val, we talked about showing up, being vulnerable and authentic, right? Energy is everything, my loves. Trust me, energy is everything. Um, and I will say this. I literally have done, continued in the last little while. Of course, I always continue my inner work, my spiritual work. And what I noticed about myself was I wasn't actually showing up at the level that I knew I was capable of. We all know what our inner, you know, like what our actual level is. And we all know when we're playing small. And I actually felt that. I was like, okay, no, I'm, I feel like I'm playing small. And Val knows about this because when we went hiking, I was telling her all about this. So what I did and my, you know, my, my marketing team was doing their thing, but that took my foot off the gas pedal a little bit too much. And so what I did was I put my marketing team on pause. I started showing up more. You can check out my Instagram. It does not look as pretty. And here's the thing. It doesn't matter because, because I was showing up, I was being open and vulnerable and authentic and speaking to my niche. I started to attract more leads. And so, um, that's so important. I want you to know that you showing up, not someone else doing the work for you, like you got to show up in your authenticity, in your vulnerability, speaking to your so many clients is so important. And then what Val also just shared is don't focus on what you're saying as much as how you're serving. You know, what do your so many clients need to hear? And you're not speaking to everybody. That's the whole thing that you can't speak to everybody because you're not here to work with everybody right it's being that laser beam and that's, that's so important too because as you teach Roz, when you show up that way and you speak from the heart and you speak to the people that you know you can help and you know you can serve yeah that's who shows up right Absolutely. because that's who your um, words are going to resonate with that's who your videos are going to resonate with Exactly. And this is something that, you know, I see a lot of people struggle with the, the female entrepreneurs that I work with struggle with this a lot, which is they don't want to be exclusionary, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So they try to create content yes. that is serving everyone. Yes. And in the process, exactly. it serves nobody exactly. because it doesn't resonate. It's too universal. And when you know who you're talking to and who you, who your ideal client is, who your soul client is then you can actually use the language that they would use. Exactly. And that is going to, I mean, it's like a magnet. People will come to you because you're speaking the way that they want to be spoken to, and they're going to sign up for more of that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Is there one more point that you want to share, Val, before uh, we share about how people can dive in deeper with you? Like, I'm really excited about what you've got coming up. So, um, I'll talk a little bit about what I've got coming up, but one last tip, and the, this one is really important. Mm -hmm. um, recognize that consistency is key. If you yes. want your videos to be successful and you want to attract the right people, you need to show up on a regular basis. This is what you were just talking about, right? And show yeah. up authentically as yourself, because when you show up in that way and you show up on a regular basis, it really is like a friend. Yes. And I always say that the the secret to video marketing is to treat it like you're building a relationship. Mm -hmm. That's what makes video so powerful. You're connecting in the closest way as you possibly can, other than being in person and actually being able to go for a hike or a coffee. <laughs> uh, but by you doing those videos and showing up where they expect you, when they expect you, you are going to help build that relationship. Mm -hmm. It's going to start to be a two-way relationship. You're going to start to see that engagement. You're going to start to see people reaching out to you. And this is just a natural progression that will help people see that you are helping them move along the path. Yes. The solution to their problem, even before they hire you or work with you. Exactly. Thank you so much, by the way, Katrina, for um, just summarizing everything in the comments. You rock lady. I love you. <laughs> um, yes, it's so important. You know, consistency is everything. And 
if you aren't seeing the results right away, i.e. people coming in and leads come in, don't give up. That doesn't mean that the ripple effects aren't happening. I literally get leads from, uh, from like people who have been following me two, for two years, even longer, especially in the personal and spiritual world. People are really shy sometimes to reach out. They're not quite ready yet and they really need more to information this of course always divine timing too i really believe that um and when it happens it's it's exactly how it needs to be like it's showing up the way it needs to be because you're energetically a match for them at that point do we have a moment to just do a little uh, yeah. detour here because absolutely. something you just said is something that i really want to address absolutely um you know because your community is dealing in a space that can sometimes be hard to put out there in the world. It is. Right. Yeah. If, whether you're an energy worker, whether you're, you're a psychic, whether you're mm -hmm. dealing in um, anything that is non-conventional. Yeah. So often when I'm working with entrepreneurs in this space, the hesitation that they have around video is the exposure to the outside world, right? They know they're received yes. inside their community. Yeah. But they're afraid that their videos are going to, you know, they're in the spiritual beyond. closet. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I've and so I like light language. And so I have seen this happen so many times where when people finally get past that mm -hmm. and they do put it out there and, you know, whatever Bobo from high school sees it and makes fun of them or yeah. whatever aunt goes, oh, I had no idea this was what you were all about. You know what? It never matters. They're not going to be it your never matters. They, they will. Would, that's right. And the number one thing that helps people get out of the spiritual closet so that they can share their gifts on video, the number one thing is think about why you're here. Think about why you have those gifts. They're not to hide them, right? They're there to, to put them out there. And mm -hmm. this is who you are. Mm -hmm. So if someone on the outside of your community doesn't get that, then that's their problem. That is right? That's okay. It has nothing to do with you. And I will share a real quick story. Um, I, I have a, a, a good client. She's been with me for years and she has um, uh, been working towards getting outside of the spiritual closet for a long time. Um, and one of the things that happened that shocked her when she finally kind of like went for it, started a YouTube channel, like how how, you know, how far outside can you go? Like the most public channel out there. So she started a YouTube channel and she was shocked because someone started showing up consistently for her lives. And it wasn't until that person actually connected with her, mm. that she found out that this woman was kind of like her high school bully. Wow. And this woman credited her and her her faith her um, youtube lives with helping her normalize what she was going through mm. she'd always been an empath mm -hmm. and she showed up as a bully because she didn't know how to deal with it that literally like brings like tears to my heart that's so full circle moment right and just the work that we do and that you do here my loves and the world is so deeply important we are here to show up and serve for in our purpose and to shine our light and don't let anyone dim it don't let anyone dim it you know those people you think because you know from a past history that have dimmed our lights so that we allowed to dim our light those people might need us maybe maybe not but it doesn't matter we're here to continue showing up and you know what if they don't need you you're probably gonna have the same amount of contact as you've had with them in the last five years right? Yep. This is the thing. And yeah. at any rate, even if your aunt doesn't understand what you're doing or your uncle thinks you're crazy, it's just going to make Christmas dinner that much more interesting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much for sharing that, Val. I feel like so many people needed to really hear this and I can't wait for those who are, you know, going to be watching the replay. Now, just to summarize everything, and then Val, please do share your incredible steal of a deal 
offer. Okay, you guys, I can't wait. So quickly, I'm going to summarize. So we talked about the importance of authenticity and vulnerability really showing up, really focusing on how your message and how you, um, what your people need to hear. Okay. And, um, and so, yes, it's important that you know who you're speaking to. And it's important to know what your people struggle with. And then showing up consistently is key. Yes. So if you're like, yes, like I really need some support, you already heard the power of community, power of being uh, facilitated by an expert. If you're like, I want to take my business to the next level, I want to improve on my video. I know I could always, you know, there's always room for improvement. Uh, Val has an offer that I'm also going to play in. So Val, please share with us. So Rosalind, this is, you completely inspired me. We went on a hike this weekend. And so I haven't had time to fully put this together, but let me give a quick background. I love it. I love it. Real time. I know, right? You just got to go for things. So um, I used to do something called a video confidence challenge. It was five days and so, so, so popular. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I realized is that there were, there were a few things that were missing that people needed to take that next step. Mm. So what I've done is I've revamped that and I've turned it into the video confidence camp. Love it. So now it is going to be seven days. And basically what's going to happen at camp is we're going to meet every day uh, for about 30 minutes for a live session. And I'm going to give you your camp activity for the day, your video confidence boosting activity for the day. Um, you'll go away. You'll do that challenge, that activity, and you will post it in the private Facebook group. Love it. And let me tell you the one thing I know for sure, when you show up and you do this work every day, only mm -hmm. takes about 30 minutes, mm -hmm. you know, come to the session for 30 minutes, do the 30 minute exercise. When you show up every day for seven days, not only will you have a video to share at the end of the week that you're going to be super excited to share with the world, you're also going to have the tools you need to get past those blocks, to get past that video induced anxiety. Mm -hmm. And this is going to change things for your business because once you get past that, you'll be in a position to really start increasing your impact and sharing your message. Power. So I'm very excited about it, but my tech mice, my, my wizards didn't work quick enough. So we're very close to being able to launch it. Uh, and I am going to suggest Roz that I know that you're going to kind of help people along. Absolutely. Kind of, kind of like a camp CIT or a camp cabin leader or something like that, right? <laughs> um, so for your, for your community, I love that you're going to come and play at camp and be there for them and be around. Um, now, the actual event, if you want to just put in the chat that you're interested, Roz yeah. will get in touch with you when we're ready to open the doors mm. and, and let you sign up. Now the camp itself, seven days with full support, you're going to get access to the recordings as well, in case you want to come back and revisit it. Um, and you're going to get feedback from me as well throughout the whole week. That so is gold, my loves. Gold. I've been part of Val's challenges before. Holy moly, gold. Like she over delivers. Just saying. So yeah. And I love it. I over deliver because I can't help myself. <laughs> um, it truly is my passion and why I'm here. So um, the camp is $77. Now, because this was Rosalind's idea and because I love her community, I love you guys. Um, I am doing a very short early bird offer, 50% off. So mm -hmm. stay tuned. Let Rosalind know that you want to join the camp. You want to come to camp. Uh, we can't go to summer camp. We can't be like tipping out of canoes right now. But <laughs> as entrepreneurs, we can still like, you know, go and get value and have some fun. So um, if you want to take advantage of that 50% off and be in before the early bird ends, which will be at the end of the month. So we've got a couple of days here. Yep. Get that link to Roslyn later today so that you can sign up. It's only 38.50. You're going to That's get access it. to the recordings. And I'm even going to throw in just for your community, Roz, I'm going to throw in my video scripts made simple, which is the wow. video script formula. Thank you so much, Val. Literally oh. how you can. Yes, we it. got some interest. Yeah, Katrina. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Katrina's like, yes, yes. I can't wait. Um, right. Thank you so much. Honestly, my loves, imagine who you could be uh, once you take this after seven days. Imagine where your business can be because you are absolutely getting out of your own way and you're showing up 
on video knowing and confidently knowing how to show up, what to say that's authentic to you, that you have clear messaging to your people. $38.50, my loves, take advantage of this, okay? Plus the scripts, which I think in itself is probably more than $38.50. So uh, get your butts in by writing down here. I'm interested in the comments below and we'll see you there. Let's play together. I can't wait. See you at camp. <laughs> Thank you, my loves. And please do share your takeaways as well and any questions that you have. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much, Val. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.